From News 19 and meteorologist Daniel Bonds, we are tracking the tropics through early Tuesday, probably 10 or 11 o'clock Tuesday morning. We'll continue to see some rainfall. It looks like heavy rainfall, breezy conditions today. It's going to be a small chance we could have some flooding issues, so you don't want to drive through flooded areas, don't want to walk through flooded streets as well. Here is a latest potential tropical cyclone number eight. This is the 5 a.m. advisory. Here's a forecast for the storm. It is forecast to gain a little bit of strength, become a name storm as it does move on shore. It'll be called Helene if and or when it does become a name storm. We do have tropical storm warnings in effect for the coastal region of South Carolina. No watches or warnings for us here across the Midlands, although there could be some breezy conditions. The greatest threat for a tropical storm force wind chance here will be in the eastern half of the Midlands, the extreme eastern half of the Midlands. So we're really not expecting, we'll say, strong winds for us here across the Midlands, but there is that outside threat. We could have some tropical storm force winds. The greatest threat for tropical storm force winds, obviously, in the area where the tropical storm warning is in effect. But as the system moves on shore, it will weaken. Still going to produce some rainfall for parts of the Midlands and the Palmetto State, but the highest chances and the highest amounts of rain will be in the eastern and northern half of South Carolina. The farther you go west, those rain chances are going to decrease. You'll see that little red sliver there. That's the highest chance for excessive rainfall across South Carolina. This yellow area still, that includes parts of the Midlands. So there's at least that chance for excessive rainfall that could lead to some flash flooding. As we get into the green area, those chances for flooding issues do decrease. So there will be the possibility for some excessive rainfall could lead to some flash flooding for at least parts of the Midlands and South Carolina. But the greatest threat for heavier rain and flooding is going to be over towards the PD and the Grand Strand. This is 8 o'clock. You notice that rotation as the system continues to move on shore bringing the rain to parts of the Midlands and South Carolina. This is early Tuesday morning. Still do have some rain basically along and north of I-20 with the higher amounts in the upstate of South Carolina at this point. And then as we do move through the rest of your Tuesday, those rainfall chances will start to decrease. By the time we get to Tuesday afternoon, mostly cloudy skies for a large part of South Carolina, but we'll start to see improving weather conditions, especially as we go into Wednesday. As of now, we only have a small chance for a stray shower Wednesday. Latest run of our forecast model shows basically dry conditions. Yesterday, we did manage to make it up to 87 degrees at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Did pick up two tenths of an inch of rain on Saturday. A record high for today is 98. Record low is 47. Those will be safe for another year. Record rainfall, a little over two inches, set back in 1945. Here's the European forecast model showing some rain tomorrow, then basically dry conditions Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a hit or miss shower Friday maybe even into Sunday. American model showing basically dry conditions Friday through Sunday. So no real organized rainfall expected after we get past this system. It will be breezy at times with winds out of the north, 15 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts stronger, scattered showers with these highs generally in the mid to low 70s. For tonight, scattered rain with the wind shifting a little bit more out of the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Small chance for rain tomorrow, otherwise mostly cloudy skies with a little bit more sunshine on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Temperatures do start to increase. Looking ahead towards the weekend, highs in the low 80s on Saturday. We'll go upper 70s to near 80 degrees on Sunday. If you're heading to the beach over the next few days, there will be the possibility for some dangerous rip currents. So once again, traveling to the beach, dangerous and potentially life-threatening rip currents along the coastal region of South Carolina and North Carolina, obviously. Weather does improve along the coast tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 70s, partly cloudy skies, low 80s by Wednesday. Charleston the weather improves tomorrow with high temperatures in the lower 80s, mid 80s by Wednesday. And in the upstate of South Carolina, a little bit of rain possible, obviously, as what's left of that tropical system continues to move out of the Palmetto State with highs right around 70. Looking ahead, our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, warmer than normal conditions, expected September 23rd through September 9th, 29th, I should say, and we do expect maybe slightly wetter than normal conditions as well. Average peak colors, always start thinking about that as we move through September, but our average peak colors for those fall leaves is early November for a large part of the Midlands and then 
mid-November for the rest of the Midlands, late November along the coast. Fall equinox only six days away. Halloween's 45 days away. And Veterans Day is 56 days from today. As always, you can follow me on these social media outlets. Have a great Monday.